Well, ladies and gentlemen, so welcome to our conjunction video of the week. And this week, we're going to be covering the conjunction of Mercury, Jupiter, and Ketu. And what happens when Mercury, Jupiter, and Ketu are conjunct in your particular horoscope. And as always, if you do not know, if you have this conjunction or where this conjunction is placed, what sign, what house, all the other planetary placements, for that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, including my books, Astrology, Conjunction, and Aspects of the Speed of Light including all my consultations here. So, Mercury, Jupiter, and Ketu. What happens when this conjunction comes together? Well, Mercury, as you know, is a planet of messenger. He's a messenger. Mercury is about communication. Mercury is about your friends and your cousins and your, uh, you know, quick family uh, circle. Mercury represents writing, marketing, sales, business, management, money management. Mercury is very good at calculating things, looking at things analytically, not philosophically, analytically. Like this is wrong, this is right, this is what it needs to be, this is how it needs to be. Has a lot of opinions. Mercury is actually significator of opinions. Then comes Jupiter. Jupiter is a significator of the higher form of Mercury, which is philosophy, religion, spirituality, gurus, Law, the higher law. Jupiter's teachers, preachers, counselor, advisors, astrologers. Jupiter also represents uh, teachings of your father. It's a significator of children, significator of wealth and family. Then you have Ketu. Ketu is about separation. Ketu is about letting go of this material plane. Ketu is about suddenly changing your path in life. Ketu is like your destiny in life. Ketu kind of shows the things that you will always fall back on to reach Rahu. This is why many of us don't think of that way, but when we fall on Ketu, that's when we realize who we truly are so we can reach to Rahu. So what happens when these planets come together? Well, in this conjunction, sign placement makes a huge difference. Forget even the nakshatra, sign placement makes a huge difference. Because if this conjunction occurs in an earth sign, like let's say Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, you will see these people, they use their brain for number crunching. They use their brain for accounting, for ana analysis, analytics. These people are very sharp in making the right decision financially. They bring past life experiences of being a natural manager, a natural teacher, a counselor, advisor. If this conjunction is occurring in fire signs, the fire triangle of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, you will see these people either become very good teachers, philosophers, counselors, advisors, or great athletes. Somebody who is able to um, win battles, use their fire to be in a leadership position. And especially in air signs like Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is more of a person who thinks like a philosopher, thinker, scientist, researcher. But they will also make great businessmen. Somebody who whose ability to communicate, like with their voice, with their ability to communicate and talk to people, they will be able to win over masses. But if it occurs in the water sign, you will find them as great mystics, astrologers, occultist, yoga and meditation teacher, the great sages of this time, future time, past time. Because what Ketu does, see, remember, Ketu is that link to the astral world, to the other side, which is beyond the realm of our planet Earth. This is why Ketu in the 12th house, whenever it's in the 12th house, represents moksha, right? Because this becomes a moksha card planet. So that energy is now is with Mercury and Jupiter, which is your intelligence, divine intelligence, analytical intelligence, your speech. So naturally, you're either drawn towards doing research in science, crunching numbers in finance, or doing business through your 
speaking and sales ability, or you're able to dive, dive deep into the spiritual realm. But naturally, regardless of the placement of these signs, one thing is for sure, they will always have love for higher philosophy and spirituality. They will always have love for astrology, numerology, love for mathematics. But you got to also understand, you got to see how close these three planets are to each other. The circumference of these planets, like are they 5 degrees apart, 10 degrees apart, 15 degrees apart? That will make a, a, a major di a difference in understanding this. But you will see these people have very unusual intelligence. These are the people who can be very rude in front of you. Because they want the right information in their hand. Because they want to teach the right information in their hand, they can be extremely rude. Their rudeness comes through Ketu. Like sudden things, like very harsh, dry. Ketu is a very dry planet. It dries a person's ability to really bring their message out in a nicer way. So especially Jupiter Ketu conjunction can sure make a person naturally inclined towards a spiritual path, but they can be extremely rude. Not because they want to be, but because they're looking for perfection in everything that they do, everyone that they meet. So if somebody just comes up, hey, like, you know, teach me astrology. Teach me astrology. And then if this is a very highly learned astrologer, he'll probably slap you. He's like, you have no idea how to ask a guru to teach you astrology. Neither you have the discipline to learn even a single sloka of astrology. Get out of here. So you will see that harshness comes into play with Ketu. But clearly what this shows is that anytime Ketu is conjunct a planet, it shows a past life experience coming back into this life to fulfill itself. So it shows in past life you were some sort of a teacher, counselor, advisor who couldn't really finish their mission to do whatever you wanted to. So now you're back in this life. This is why you are naturally attracted to certain subjects, regardless of the sign. But the sign itself will direct your main focus, whether it's money, whether it's servitude, whether it's, you know, nonprofit organization, government, law, because these people make great lawyers as well. Because Jupiter is the uh, planet that writes the law. Mercury is the one whose speech uses the law to win business cases, business deals. But mostly you will see people going to you know, some sort of a research-based subject, whether it's regarding finance, science, occult, mysticism, philosophy, or law. Okay? So guys, this is my analysis of Mercury-Jupiter-Ketu conjunction. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you want to know where your conjunctions are and what planet placements you have, for that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, my books, consultations. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.